The 2022 Harley-Davidson Nightster is a balance truck. It's a machine defined by its backward-looking silhouette, but also a machine developed with strict performance requirements. This bike performs at a level far exceeding any Evo Sportster, but it's a different motorcycle with a new look, sound, and feel. Willie G. Davidson was fond of saying that form follows function, but both report to emotion. Will 2022 Nightster's vaguely nostalgic silhouette be enough to satisfy traditionalists? Or is the quality of the ride good enough for the new bike to overcome these changes in form and succeed on its performance merits? The first time I saw the full production Nightster in the metal was on a foggy morning in Santa Barbara, California. I was obviously not looking at the monoshock chassis of the Sportster S. This looked like something more familiar, at least from across the parking lot. Two shocks mount to a rectangular steel swing arm and struts on the rear fender. There's a fuel tank-shaped metal piece in front of the seat reminiscent of the classic Sportster peanut tank. But as I got up close, it was more difficult to see traces of the old sporty. That fuel tank is actually a cover for the airbox, and connectors and wires are visible underneath. Under the seat and extending to below the swing arm is a 3.1-gallon matte black steel gas tank, essentially stuffed into the center of the bike, somehow looking bulbous and out of place. I wondered if such a technical and performance-driven shift in Sportster design would be justified by the bike's level of performance. Then I got on the bike and rode out of the parking lot, and visible wiring and gas tank placement didn't cross my mind until I got off again. Engine At the heart of this new Nightster is the Revolution Max 975T engine. The first we heard of a 975 Rev Max was in the Bronx Street Fighter concept, and this engine's character is definitely more typical of a sport bike than a cruiser. It revs up quickly and doesn't hit the limiter until over 9,500 RPM. It delivers a claimed 90 horsepower and 70 pound-feet of torque, though that torque isn't delivered in the immediate fashion seen in air-cooled V-twins. Instead, the Revolution Max revs up to deliver close to peak torque in the 3,000 to 6,000 RPM range. The liquid-cooled 60-degree V-twin differs from the 